Welcome to my System.io tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page that can collect leads, send them to a thank you page, and then of course send out automated emails in the background. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along you can click my link in the description. Not only does System.io come with a free plan but you can literally follow along exactly with what I'm doing using that free plan. Let's begin the System.io tutorial. So first and foremost starting off from scratch is if you just had a new account what you want to do is go to funnels right here and click on create. So here I gave this a name, it's called Two Step Funnel. What I wanna do is click on Build an Audience. Everything else is gonna be the same. The domain can stay, currency, US dollar, unless yours is different. Let's click on Save. Okay, and then click on Two Step Funnel, or the name that you created for it. And the first thing, what we wanna do right here on our squeeze page is find some templates. I'm gonna scroll down and click on 30. This means that we can see some more templates when we're scrolling through. So ideally, some of the highest converting, in my opinion, throughout like over a decade of testing is going to be the simplest, tend to be the better. Something like this looks fantastic. Not a whole lot going on, but it just, Here's a perfect example. Stay in the loop, leave us you know, your email to stay updated. All you need is like a really benefit-enriched headline, enter your email, and go. There's no other distractions on that, and that's a really good thing. Even something like this is a really good one. This is perfect if you changed around the background image, right? Just a headline, enter your email, that's it, on to the next one. I'm just gonna look through one more page to kind of give you an idea of what else they have for templates, but choosing very quickly, I think this one looks pretty good. I can change around this image to add me in, delete some of the stop, top stuff and we'll be good. So let's click on select and use this one. And everything looks good. I'm just going to keep it called squeeze page along with the URL path. And now what I want to do is here is go to edit page. All right, so first and foremost, I want to get rid of this top part. If this was a website, I would say it's fine to have a menu here, but if this is a standalone landing page, we don't need all these other links. Our main goal is to get the email and get the email only. We don't need them looking at our products, comparisons, testimonials, FAQs. There's other aspects and other you know corners of the internet where we can do that, right? So let's just delete this. I'm going to hover over that so it's green. And on the bottom, same thing. I like keeping my squeeze pages very simple, and I'm going to delete this as well. And let's do it once more. So literally all we have is, this is what you're gonna be getting, here's how you get it. Nothing else, no other distractions. I guess you could say maybe the only things would be like the links. So if you wanted to change these, just simply highlight, say like terms and conditions. If you have a terms and conditions page, you would go right here and add in the link and that's how you do that. That's a little bit extra thing, but in case you wanted to know, that's how it's done. So let's click on this image here. What I'm gonna do is go right here. I already have an image. So if I click on this cloud, you can upload an image of yourself if you already have one. I've already done that, so I'm gonna go to your images and I'm gonna click on insert. They made me really big, which is fine, but I'm just gonna use this to make it a little bit smaller. I think something like that. And right now the alignment's on the right, there's the center and there's the left. I think left looks just fine. Okay, so let's go right here. Free download, get 1500, whatever it's going to be. So. What we wanna do is let them know what they're getting. So free PDF guide. And give me one moment. All right, so the 100 hottest affiliate offers to promote. And then there's one last thing here. All right, so I put enter your best email and it will be sent to your inbox. So there's a reason why I say sent to your inbox. If they knew they were gonna be getting it on the next page, they can use any email in the world. It doesn't matter what it's going to be and they go, cool, got my free gift, have a nice day. But if you say that it has to be sent to their inbox, what that means for you is that you're probably gonna get more high quality emails because they need to at least use one that they can open, click and read. So that's the reason for that. There's also the download now button if we go here. Oops, there we go, clicked on that. So it's already on submit form, which is what we want. And when they do submit form, they go to the next step. So that means they're gonna be going to the thank you page. That means this looks great and everything is done. And that didn't take very long, did it? And that's a good thing. Let's preview it right here just to showcase what it looks like, which is pretty much everything you see here. Okay, and like it says, this is a preview mode, don't use this URL, and that's pretty much what it's going to be. Notice how simple that is. Don't be confused that it doesn't look like a glamorous landing page, like there's amazing branding. What matters the most is what's gonna be in for your customer. Just because it looks spiffy or not so spiffy isn't as big of a deal, and like I said, that's through so much of my testing. A lot of other marketers have found that out as well, so uh, that's just my recommendation. Keep it simple, simple tends to work. So let's go back here, and let's go to the exit button right here. 
Now what we're gonna do is click on the thank you page or the download page. We're gonna repeat the same process. So I'm gonna click on 30 here so we can see some more templates. And notice how some of these say like, thanks for booking, thanks for your payment. Just cause it says something and they're not paying for it doesn't mean we can't use it. Ideally, we're gonna go here and just change some things around. So what I wanna do here is go to this one. I'm gonna select this. Everything looks good here, so I'm gonna click on edit page. And there's a few things, once again, we can delete, like we don't need this menu here. We don't need this image here, right? Now, welcome to the community. We don't have a community. So here we can do, let's change this around. Okay, thanks for opting in. And this can either be video or it can be text. So I'm gonna upload a video and then talk about the things that you can put here, because there's a lot of good quote unquote real estate. One moment. So I put watch the video below for the next step. Now what we can do is take a video and we can drag and drop it right there underneath. And you'll notice how like this is literally hugging this. We can change that around by going there and we can move this down ever so slightly. So this can be a URL. I'm just gonna put www.yoururl, whatever it's going to be. This can go to your YouTube channel. This can go to a social media platform. It can go to a webinar, an online course, a coaching, whatever it's going to be. And I like doing a new window just because if someone's watching this and they click it, they're gonna be taken elsewhere and the video can still be there, right? We also wanna do like click here to continue. I like that call to action. It tells them what to do and that they're gonna go to the next step. So with that in mind, let's go to the video. And since I already have one, what I'm gonna do is upload video. And obviously this is where you can upload it if you already don't have one. If you do have one, it's gonna be shown right here. And I'm gonna do insert. Okay, and just like that, even though I already have my video done, that's me literally creating the thank you page, which was very quick. So. A couple things here, if you don't wanna do a video, I'll talk about the things that you can just simply write about. So what you wanna do is first congratulate and thank them. Hey, who are you? What do you do? How long you been doing this? And so on and so forth. Let them know that their gift is gonna be sent to their inbox. In the meantime, be sure to check out the button or the resource down below where if you click that, you can benefit, You know, get something cool. Nevertheless, once you're done with that, go ahead and check your inbox for your free gift. My name is James, thank you so much. So that's kind of a template of it. And just off the top of my head, I'm gonna go and talk to you as if like you just opted in. And I'll give you an example of what you can put here, okay? So, hey, my name is James Canzanella. Thank you so much for opting in and receiving your free gift. As promised, it's being sent to your inbox. And while it's being sent, be sure to check out the link down below. It's gonna go to my YouTube channel and I think you're really gonna like it because I talk about all the latest and greatest software tools. Now you can utilize them to not only generate more leads, but obviously increase your revenue with your online business. That should just about do it. Keep in mind, I've been doing this for well over a decade, so you're in good hands. Can't wait to talk to you more often, especially when it comes to emails and giving you a lot of value, but nevertheless, be sure to check out that YouTube channel and then grab that free gift. I know you're gonna love it. Talk soon. Okay, so just something like that off the top of my head. That's pretty much what I say in the video. I do link them to my YouTube channel and I let them know that the free gift is going to be delivered through email. And that's what we're gonna be doing right now, setting up our emails, which is very easy to do as well. If you can set up these two steps, you're definitely gonna be able to do the email as well. It's not really all that difficult, okay? So let's just save the changes. And I can preview this very quickly just to show you. Okay, so that's all it's gonna be. Oh, and there is one more thing. I'm glad I, I did the preview. So when we click on this, if you do a video, let's go to the edit. And what we wanna do, autoplay is gonna be off. We wanna make sure the controls are on, okay? Because if there's no controls, they can't play it. So there we go. Now we wanna save changes. You'll notice there's no like play button or anything. It just looks like a picture. And I just X'd out of the dashboard. So let me go back to that one moment. All right, cool. So I am back. Now I can preview this and you'll notice the play bar is gonna be there. Hey, my name is James. There we go. I don't want to play that. It's going to talk over me. And obviously it goes to, what is it, like 40 seconds or something? 43 seconds. Okay, so there you are. There's the thank you page. And now that we have that done, okay, we're back in the editor. Let's click on the exit. And we will be coming back to that after. Now what we want to do is go to emails and click on campaigns. So for here, we want to create a new campaign. Let's click on the create button. So just for this being a system.io tutorial, that's what I'm going to call it. You know, for you, you might want to call it based upon whatever your niche is or whatever, like the big Bennett. So maybe it's like benefit. So maybe it's affiliate marketing, could be online business, lead generation, whatever it is, and then give it a description and click save. Okay, so similar to creating a funnel, once we've created that, now we wanna click on the actual name. Okay, so let's click on create here. 
All right, so here's the subject line I really like. Click here to access your free gift. Okay, one, it has a call to action so they can click there, and two, they know they want to get the free gift that they requested. Then you have your sender name, your sender email, and I like going with classic editor. Less pictures equals less chances of landing in the sin bin, aka the spam box. Let's click on save. Okay, so we have click here to access your free gift. There's also the preview if you wanna add a little bit more to that. It's almost like an extension of the subject and also sometimes what they can see after the subject line. So I'd put something like, here's the free gift that you requested. So aside from that, allow me to put together an email very quickly. This isn't gonna be more about like how to write emails, but more so just show you how it's done. All right, so here we are. Here's the free gift that you requested for the preview. So we have, thanks for signing up to get your free gift. Without any further ado, you can download it below. So what you would do here is just go to the link and wherever it's going to be. Like if you have a PDF file, you can upload that to Dropbox, to like Google Drive, whatever it's going to be. So I'm just, once again, I'm just gonna put whatever your link is, that's where it would go for your free gift, okay? So make sure to keep on the lookout for my emails as well. Not only do I have a free gift for you, but in the future I'll be covering and you just wanna put like, three big benefits, something where if one of your perfect audience saw this, they'd be like, oh, I really have to open that up. Okay. So that's going to be customizable. I think you're really going to enjoy the content. Very simple stuff. Not a whole lot going on here. Okay. We have our name. We have our from email. We don't need to, I don't like putting attachments in there. Once again, I think linking it is so much better. Uh, we can save it. And of course we want to save and publish. So this email will be sent after, like this is gonna be the first email, so we want that immediately. So delay, zero days, everything else looks good, let's activate. Perfect, so now what we can do is exit, and let's do one more, let's do create. All right, so once again, this is just an example, the truth about X, whatever your topic is, just first thing off the top of my head, name, sender email, classic editor, and save. Okay, so everything is going to be the same, like a preview, you know, add your preview, and I'm not going to write out a full, wow, that's, that was a really good spelling, James. So, okay, let's get everything spelled perfectly first. Uh, this is just going to be email too. Obviously, write your email, whatever it's going to be. I don't want to just do that. I'm just showing you how to set it up, right? So once we have this email, say we're sending them more valuable content, whatever it's going to be, everything is done. We can save it. Everything else looks good, no attachments, and we can do save and publish. So what we wanna do here is choose after which email to add this one. So this was our first email, we wanna add it after that. And after that one, we wanna say we wanna wait two days. So what that means is they opt in, they immediately get that free gift, and two days later, they're going to get this one as well. So let's click on activate. Perfect, and now we can exit. So when you look at it, immediately, then two days. And this is how you can continue on with your email campaigns. You could do another email next two days, next two days. The cool thing about this is that you write them once and you can send them out for as long as you want. It's really up to you. So we have one final step when it comes to connecting this email campaign to our funnels. So let's go back over to funnels right up top. Let's go to the two-step funnel. And here's the great part with automation. So if we go over to say our squeeze page right there, we wanna click on automation rules. We want to do add rule and funnels step form subscribe. So let's click on this. And what we want to do is simply click on funnel step form subscribed, add action. Okay. And now we want to subscribe them to a campaign. This is the email campaign that we just created. So let's do that. Let's choose the campaign, which I called system.io tutorial and then do save rule. And perfect. So now we just added that. So whenever someone opts in, what we can do is get them on that email campaign list. So let me just kind of walk you through the process. Let's do view funnel step. All right, so I just put just a random test email. So obviously, oh, there's one more thing. If you are gonna be sending it to your inbox, probably just change around the text right here. Like they're not downloading it now. Just like click here to continue would be good. I just noticed that. So that's easy to change as well. So let's click here. And just like that, thanks for opting in. This is where they can watch the video. Like here's the next step. And this is where obviously you can take them to wherever you want. Like I said, there's a lot of good quote unquote real estate. There's a lot of options there. Could be a recommended product, an affiliate offer, a webinar, a training, a coaching, consulting, uh, a video training, even more free gifts. You name it, the world is your oyster. But that's going to conclude my system.io tutorial. I showed you how to create a landing page where you can collect leads, send them to a thank you page. We also talked about a lot of the things that are gonna be on that thank you page. like 
what you can talk about. If you want to make it really basic like I did with the video or simply use that video and turn it into text and use a picture of you. And then of course we created our email campaigns. We sent out our free gift in that. And then I showed you how to create as many emails as you want that are going to be automated. And last but not least, we combine both of those together with an automation rule so that when someone opts in, they start getting emails going out auto magically, as I like to say. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to help. Or if you haven't gotten the test out system, my link is in the description where you can test them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.